G'day everyone, welcome back to another biogas video. Today we're going to have a look at making a blowtorch suitable for biogas. This is going to probably be our first in a line of videos because the plan is to use this blowtorch and biogas to see if we can make a refractory to melt down copper and aluminium and all sorts of other materials. So stay tuned for those videos because I've already got the materials for the refractory but Today we're going to start with the blowtorch. So what I've got is I'll parts down here, I'll show you in a sec. These are just parts I've picked up from hardware store. Nothing too fancy. They just, it's all threaded, it all screws in. All you just need is a bit of thread tape, get them, screw them in, bang. So I'll show you these parts that I've got here laid out on the floor. So essentially, 3 8 adapter to half inch, half inch valve, nipple, T-piece, a couple of other bits, a thread tape, and this is the hose, the 3 8 that goes to the gas tank where the uh, regulator is. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all together with a bit of thread tape and check back in. So I'll put it all together, got my gas valves here, the longer piece that goes into the forge. Uh, I'll just make sure this is turned on and we'll get it cranking. Yeah, that's on. Okay, trusty lighter. There we go. Yeah, nice, nice blue flame. Okay, so I know that methane has a nice, nice caloric value. Um, but to make this flame hotter, we need to add oxygen, like forced oxygen. So what I've got is I bought this little air compressor here, little air pump. And I'm going to hook that into the bottom end here. And then I'll slowly open the valve and then you'll see this changing. So I'll just turn this off for a minute. So for this, I've actually been scrapping a washing machine, getting all the copper and stuff out of it. So this is all the um, leftover pipe. So what I can do with this is I will join it to this. And that I can slip over the other end. So this, it's loud. Put that over there whilst I hook this in. So I can slip this over the top, it's actually a nice fit. And then when I get around to it, I can work a hose clamp on here and get all running nicely. Okay, so gas valves on. I'll turn this on. Mind the volume if it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Like this. I'll slowly open the oxygen valve here. You'll see the flame change. Okay, too much over there. So it goes more blue. And actually burns hotter. This is what I need when I uh, start to try and melt the, the copper and the uh, aluminium. That feels a lot hotter. There we have it. What I need to do now is buy a, a higher temperature sensor so I can actually heat something and see how hot it goes. Um, I can compare it to LPG propane because I know a lot of the gas foundries actually use that. There is natural gas foundries, um, but we're going to try biogas.
So there you have it folks. Simple blowtorch works and if I had a, probably another 10 minutes worth of gas I would have had that aluminium down to proper liquid. Uh, but I know it works. Uh, so one thing I did notice on, uh, with this is when you have the gas on and then turn the air on it tends to blow out. But in the forge, in the actually enclosed area, it stays alight, and that's where we get the heat from. Uh, so it's done a good job for, for what it is. It wasn't that much on parts. So when I actually get the foundry parts all ready, we'll make another video and we'll um, make that discovery together on the pursuit to melting copper and all that, because I've got uh, probably about five kilos of uh, strip copper wire that I can melt down uh, so we'll look at that I can get uh, graphite crucibles off eBay uh, or I can probably make some out of aluminium oxide and um, sodium silicate which I'm going to be using for the uh, for the foundry lining anyway as I was saying before the phone rang um, so Next time we'll have a proper setup, not just bricks on the bloody floor. I know I could probably cop a bit of flack for that, as bricks are not refractory, they absorb heat. The crucible that I'm using is cast iron, um, which absorbs heat. So I know, I know, I know. Next time I'll have it all running and properly. I just wanted to test this out. I've had it sitting here for a week and finally got a weekend off that I could test it. So. Till next time, and uh, we'll make another Biogas video getting all hot stuff. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See ya.